It's time to get touched by Miss Erica Kimberly. Ma'am, you may take it. Okay, guys. Away, away, away. So, courtesy of the classroom Black Twitter, I found this tweet and I wanted to share with you all because we've talked about race and love here. So, I just want to see, like, are we, are we close-minded? Are we discriminating? The tweet says, why is it that when a black person says they don't ever want to date or marry outside their race, it's a problem and we're closed minded but when someone wants to swirl it's love is love blah 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 if love is love why can't i love my own exclusively remember we started off talking about this it had me thinking like mm, we're not discriminating if we choose to exclusively love our own because we're not saying that we're not open to it we just don't want to right no nope. let me break this down shane go ahead Nah, people taking preference offensive, mm-hmm. and is I think that's just the time we in. Everything people wants to make a left and right the decision, like constantly everything. Mm-hmm. If you're not for this, then you gotta be for this, yeah. you know. And that's the that's the real problem. Just because you're not for something, that don't mean that a somebody else is privileged to whatever choice you are for. So I mean, B, it shouldn't even matter. Like you know, so who you love is who you love. But at the end of the day, you ain't got nothing to prove to not a soul in the world about it. Yeah. And I mean, as simple as that. Like, you don't have to down talk nobody about it at mm-hmm. all. Hmm. I was looking at that. I was like, okay, we're not saying um, I only want to date black people because white people are this, this, that, yada, yada, yada. I said, now that's where it would become more of a problem for me. If you're just saying like, oh, you know, I want to date black because... You know, I just I feel like my life will be better enhanced with the black person. Like this you know is a black saying? person saying this? Yes. Oh, okay. The black girl made the tweet. Mm. Um, and I was you know, I'm just curious because yes, we do hear of it as, you know, when, when the preference is made, oh, I'm I date white because or if, if black people are brought into a reason as to why somebody dates outside the race, we do get a little up in arms. So could, can I ma- ask a question and a statement mm-hmm. at the same time? Mm-hmm. Can I safely assume that everybody in here prefers to date black right yes but that's fat you can assume that i didn't say i was gonna say you that'd be an (laughs) assumption but (laughs) but if the opportunity presents itself of something appealing Mm. from the opposite sex Mm. you will be willing to step out of your preference Wait, opposite sex is it? I mean, uh, opposite uh, 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 race. Yeah. Okay. Would you? Yeah. Because yeah. that's the definition of, yeah, you have your preference, but that preference doesn't close you off. That preference Correct. isn't the only thing. I prefer Italian. Yeah. But, you know, every once in a while, Chinese <laughs> food go around, you know, I'm going to go get some. You know what I'm saying? Low main. Let's you know what I'm saying? My main. favorite is Italian, but you know what I'm saying? I have eaten. Chinese. Yes. I have eaten yeah. soul food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have eaten, you know what I'm saying, yes. American. You know I'm what I'm sure. Yeah. But, but if no I had to pick one, <laughs> it's going to be Italian. Yeah. But, and, but listen to how you're saying that. You're not downing. You're not saying, I like the, the Italian carbonara because yeah. that Chinese slow main was whack. You know what I'm saying? You're not. Yeah, it's like was this, like somebody walk in with Chinese food. Oh, nigga got Chinese food. There we go. It's like, <laughs> it's like what? What's wrong with Chinese food, bro? You need to get some of the soul food, though. <laughs> If you ain't eating soul food, you ain't eating soul food. Yeah, you, you ain't, ain't shit. Ain't real. You ain't eating soul food. Like, hold on. 
You know, I, I okay. saw uh, Bro, I was... saw a guy on Twitter. Hmm. Interesting. Island guy, right? From Hawaii. You know, I don't, I don't know what Samoan? race that. Yeah, Samoan. Okay. So I guess they consider that not really That's black. Native. But it's uh, it's they, they, they identify with it's it. Hawaiian. Okay, all right. Because they, they have their own box. Right. Yeah, that brown skin, baby. <laughs> but they identify with it. Paula Malu identify with okay. it. Go ahead. So it was a lot of black women that was lusting after this dude, right? Because he put up this video. He got this long hair, you know, whatever. And they they loved it. They're mm-hmm. lusting after him. They inboxing him everything. Mm-hmm. And he made a video, and he said, particularly, I don't date black women. And they went slam off on him. Mm-hmm. And I felt like. Why are you going off of, if he's he's not necessarily down in black women? He's just saying I don't find y'all attractive. He spoke his preference, right? He did it in a respectful way. And he's one of one billion. Okay. So I mean, I just don't see why people get upset if he, if someone says, "Well, I don't like to date this so specific like a, a, race." Equivalent to saying I don't like Chinese food. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. don't get mad. Why, why you want to get mad at nobody because they say they don't like Chinese food? I don't think it's I, a disrespect. I, and I can't get mad at that because I've come from a situation where I was looking at, and I think this comes down to who you, how you were raised, right? Maybe they're getting offended because him saying I don't particularly date black women is is them hearing it as oh black women are less than. You know what I'm saying? That's how they're receiving it. That ain't what he said. So the question would be because what women would ask is why, right? So most people, most people, let's be honest. Most people are not gonna let you just get off with that. Like you just can't come in the room and say, "I don't date black girls." Yeah, it's gonna be a so. Reason. It's gonna be okay. Why? Mm-hmm. And if you just say, "I just don't like them," I if you just say, "I like white women," yeah, then it's kind of like okay. This, but most people don't do that. They kind of go with the a reason. They that. give you that the stuff that we hate attitude, mm-hmm. mouth, yeah. whatever mm-hmm. like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But because nobody's gonna say, "I just like white women." I was raised in a white neighborhood, like white women. You know what I'm saying? That's never the answer. Yeah, I never heard that. I heard my aunt say I would I never have. date a white man because, ugh, look at the history. They're, they're, they raped us. They took our husbands from us. They ruined our families. So when I hear black women say why they would never date white women, I'd be like, ooh, sis, you going deep. Like, you going deep. <laughs> so it's like to, to them, I don't know. Maybe this is just from the black woman experience. It's like it's a historical thing why we ain't effing with them and then sometimes like when we hear the shallow reason like oh attitude this this that it's like you got that from one person historically That's y'all fact. are fucked up like you know what i'm saying That's like fact. it's it's so different how we justify I it i don't think i've ever i mean i've had a preference but i don't think that i've actually like i just i like and i love who i who i like mm-hmm. and i love i don't care if they was blue red pink or yellow so it's it's i don't know I don't, so are you exclusive to, to black? I would no, say I'm exclusive I've to black. Never, I've, I've dated outside of I'm dated outside. Yeah, life. I've dated outside, but I've I've, I've I'm she back. loyal to my she back. soil. She back. Yeah. But if we were to put the numbers out there, if you put the last twenty guys, I'm not say you got twenty guys, but if you the, the last five guys, how many 20? guys are black? Out of the last five. Can we just no, four. four? Four, four. When I'm the one, 80%? the other one is yeah, like Puerto Rican. Percentage. That we don't. I don't even. I'm not going to say Spanish is considered black. I'm going to give them the right to be okay. other. Because eighty percent. They okay. don't mark black. black. Yeah. Black, you know. Yeah. I don't know what you're saying, but this, you know. No, if you always go to the grocery store, and you always chicken always ends up in your cart. You prefer chicken. You might not say it. But it's chicken, <laughs> yeah. it always ends up I in your shopping cart. Yeah. I feel like That's your chicken preference. Chicken is a staple, though. Depending on <laughs> what part of the country you're from. Uh, that's a fact. Oh, as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, in high school, that's I had true. the opportunity when I was kind of, you know, the flirting with this white guy. And um, all it took was me. I just, you know, saw it in person. And I was like, yeah, this isn't for me. You know, we were flirting. So, obviously, you're doing the high school thing. Show, let me show. Let me you, see it. You did what a person? It was pink. It just was saw like, mm. Interacting with the go. white guy. I want, like the yeah. inside of this cup. I was like, okay, yeah, this is not going to be for me. Yeah. I and I knew what I liked. I dated a white white Italian guy. Mm, he was white Italian too. Yeah. New York City guy. Mafia. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Very, oh I, I would definitely say he probably might have been. He's affiliated. Mm-hmm. Um, did you like he, the look of it? it uh, was that something that played a factor like in, you, in you continuing with it? <laughs> Keep it real. Uh, that's not why I didn't continue with it. Um, Cleaned it up. 
but you felt comfortable with because I didn't feel like I was with a white guy. Got like it. he actually had a little urban. Give that slap. Okay. He had a little okay. urban. Too. John B. So okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, almost exactly like that. John B. That. Okay. Almost exactly like that, and it was kind of like, he was very intriguing. So like I was interested. Down. I was interested he because had the he, he too. was. Uh, yes, he connecting. had. He had. Yeah. <laughs> they connected. He had okay. that. So you might as well. See, that's what I'm saying. So if you're white, crack like a duck. If it looked like a duck. A motherfucking different looking duck. That's it was like different. <laughs> it was different. It so actually survived. that dealing with him actually opened my eyes a lot to interracial situations, especially in the city, especially from his background. Okay, but 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 based on what what you're describing from the beginning, it's kind of like Kanye is like when you get we or a white girl that basically built her body like a sister. You might as well have gotten a sister. sister. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the problem is the sister doesn't come with that polished personality. The sister comes with a little bit more umph in her. Mm. That's a sister ain't where gonna tolerate it differentiates a white woman with a body and from. a black woman who already came with one. Depending on where she's from. Depending on where she's from. Depending There's from. some black girls are getting ran over. But see, see I'm, black girls. <laughs> I'm influenced by my environment because mm-hmm. I mean. Petersburg is all black city. You know, I was raised in Petersburg. Mm-hmm. Sure. And then, of course, I got a black mom. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, all I've dated, all I've seen is black women. So it's like, then I got a cousin who went to a mixed school and he loves white women. You know what I'm saying? But his environment was Correct. full of so uh, many uh, different colors. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. No disrespect. I love my brother, but he only dates white girls. Mm-hmm. My, my boy from God went the same way. Oh, with he, the God he, he got a choice of God went. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, God. My brother went to God when I, I knew what time it was. Especially back bro. then, God went. Yeah. She is all white people. I, I don't know. The Beckys. Yeah. The Karens. <laughs> it's weird. It is crazy that I think about it because I've, I think I probably only see my brother with one black girl. I see my brother with one black girl. She was mixed. Yeah, she exactly. Was she girl. was mixed. She wasn't black fully. Hmm. So. So that go back to the episode of colorism. That, that's what <laughs> yeah. we're kind of like, like talking Pretty about. Being in an uh, environment that's kind of conducive to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you look at the stuff that you're into. Like, see, he's into, like, hunting. He's into baseball. He's into yeah, things like that. Life. His his girlfriend likes to do the same thing. Correct. Oh, it's not too many black females that you're going to find that that's like real. to do mm-hmm. things like that. That's cool. So. That's cool. It makes mm-hmm. sense. Hmm. Okay. If I found a white woman that liked chopping, chopping screwed, I might. You, you know like, what? Hey, <laughs> I'm I think I follow one on Lying. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say I know a couple of them girls, and they've been with us around. What up, could they the the the, the hood little I don't say oh, hood I little hate, white I girls, but the white girls who grew up in the hood. Correct, you know and I'm I feel saying? like it's a stereotype parents. that those are. They're I know a handful of them, mm-hmm. but I feel like those girls are borderline. I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> they borderline <laughs> sluts. Like, cause they they <laughs> trying to fit in so much that they end up overdoing it. Like, <laughs> like the, most people pretending to be something else. Yeah, they kind of like OD with it, like to prove that they black. So they got like not one or two black men. They've been with all the black men in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the five girls like that. I know, kind of like I, I love y'all. Y'all following me? Y'all following me? I'm done. <laughs> y'all been around? <laughs> like. <laughs> you ever seen a white girl and you know from the jump street they fuck with black dudes? Hell yeah. It's like always the haircut. Hell, it's always oh, the haircut. No, always the, the haircut. mother has the haircut. Hold on, hold on. It, it's, it's the way they other, talk. It's other things too. The, the mother the talk, has the haircut. Know. It's the way they talk. It's a lot of stuff. She got, it, she got her nails down with the ring fingers. She got the rings on her fingers just like the black girls all laced up from. She got a couple pinky, chest tats. Lord knows. She ring. matching. She matching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so she matched I'm gonna have a green polo she got on the Jordan uh, 11 yeah <laughs> yeah she got on them team Jordans and some uh, it's the, it's the, it ain't it ain't don't say it's retro it's definitely some team Jordans cause they don't know the difference Jordans. and y'all know that correct team Jordans they do not know the with a white bro. beater and some 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 booty shorts yeah. and they will show it off in the camera too whole pose team Jordans <laughs> creases <laughs> I'm weak yeah, it, I wasn't gonna say they were sluts, but I was gonna say you know they they've been around the way. 
And that's that's who they are I've sometimes. Been around. What's that? What, that's a synonym for what? I've been <laughs> around the world. I, 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 I can't find no one. You more. find me a, a, a white woman. We want you to call in right now. If you're a white woman, <laughs> <laughs> if that was it. That was like requires. black guys. And you are a virgin. Call in right now. What? This phone about to be crooked. <laughs> you probably could hey, knock on a couple of doors in. in this same building. Just knock right on to a couple of doors. You get that. You ain't got to wait for nobody to call. No, I'm just saying. Like, I feel like they are, they are definitely battle tested. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they some soldiers in the army of the Negroes. That's for sure. But they got to do so much to prove themselves. They got they, they got their ass whooped a couple of times. Mm. They got because they, they said it's the wrong thing. And the white bitch thinks she ordered. Oh, yeah. you white too? Hold on, come no, on. that don't mean nothing. <laughs> that don't mean nothing because I'll still whip your ass, Tasia. Uh, I'll still whip your ass. Oh, Tasia. <laughs> Tay's just a black girl. When you, when you date one of them girls, you gotta talk to them before you get out the car. You like, look, all right, so. Hey, you going? I on really want to know the question is: Do y'all be letting them say the n word? Did that? Y'all let them call y'all the n word? But hey, the hey, no, 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 ain't no a, ain't no e, r, ain't you no sure? no. You don't, I've seen you a couple don't, girls go nah. Hey, they, they nah. Yeah. Fuck that nigga. Up. So like if she rapping the song in the car, do you? you, you nah. like nah. really? Really? Skip that word. Nah. You better, you better stick to the radio edit. You better get used to the. the I'm so that. sick of it. Yep. yep. You better make you better make the sounds with that. It's your for me. Oh, <laughs> me and my Higgin, Higgin, <laughs> your <laughs> inward. You better learn that. That better be part of your that. vocabulary. It's <laughs> your inward. I can see that. <laughs> oh my God, though. Well, you know what? Hey, we about to we go may not be shallow, but to say, but we about to go in this party and look. The girl Milan, she'll slap you. Be quiet. <laughs> don't I'll say, say, don't I'll say tell you, you they sorry. always gotta have a conversation <laughs> with your mama before she meet her. Because of the fact that your mama was not expecting you to bring a white girl home, you got to have a whole different type of conversation. Or oh, even with Shane, it. Shane, <laughs> in the kitchen. On, this is it, yo. Shane, see, look, look. Let me talk to you in the kitchen. She don't even. She don't well, even wait. Hey, here. She, don't, she don't even wait to. Hold on, what's the name again? Hold on for a sec. Come on over here. Samantha, for a second, you stay here this. on the couch. Oh, no. And she go by Sam. Sam. It's de- <laughs> Tabitha. It's, it's definitely Cindy. <laughs> Samothy, whatever your name nah, is, you sit girl. here. <laughs> your drunk auntie come in like, why the DoorDash girl still here? <laughs> <laughs> Who let the male woman in? <laughs> That's my girlfriend, auntie. <laughs> DoorDash. Hey, black families What's are so disrespectful. Your sibling, your sibling <laughs> will go right back upstairs and just laugh. Okay. <laughs> why is she white? <laughs> Hey. Right there in the front of her. That reverse <laughs> feeling though. The little kids be brutal with it. <laughs> I know up. we going into winter time, but I'm pretty sure she didn't lose all that color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's reverse. You go to the day folk house? Oh. oh goodness. Why? Mm-mm. Yeah, it's my little sister. I feel like white parents, like, especially white parents who are like welcoming, they they try to overcompensate. Oh, OD with What's going to here? Hi. My name's Karen. I'm Katie's mom. We're so down. We're yeah. down. They do every, yeah. everything in the world to try to relate on the culture. Uh-huh. Yeah. Immediately, soon to come in. So, uh, uh really, you, like you that got the state of the culture. You got the, and they always name rap, but then it be the white type of rap. No, 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 no. So they uh, always go to basketball. So, uh, uh, who's your favorite team? Yeah. You got that new Logic album, and then they name somebody else to be with Logic. <laughs> and you don't even know. Yo, what about that in sound uh, clown posse? Uh, <laughs> what? No, I'm, bro, what? Yeah, they know. trying to prove it be more black than you are. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, be so late. Oh, uh, I heard that new song, uh, Get Around by Tupac. Man, that is awesome, sir. It is 2020. No, such a no, stupid no. What I have seen is their new relatable topic is Trump. So a lot of the times they're like, Trump is a fucking idiot. And wait for you to respond. Yeah, <laughs> I've you know, seen like, uh, that, uh, that uh, happened uh, before. Uh, and I'll be voting for him this year, sorry. sir. <laughs> I'll be like, ah. I, that's what I, I fuck it. your whole shit up. Like, yeah, okay. no, I actually vote for him. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's I, kill him, I kill him with that. So, which I, you know, what's crazy? I'm not a Democrat, and then I start going to talk. I'm not a Democrat. <laughs> yeah, because now I want to see where yeah. you gonna show me the real you. Yeah, okay. we super friends. You know, uh, I'm, I'm very thankful you came to this dinner tonight. Uh, mm-hmm. By the way, I just want to let you know we did not vote for Trump. Okay? Yeah, we did not. That's vote. exactly your voice how they is do crazy. Okay. Yeah, it is. That's exactly so how they do I that just shit. Just want to, you know. 
just you in case. You are safe here. But you're all right, Jaquan, okay? You're all right, Jaquan. You're welcome here at any time. Let's believe all, ma- all lives matter over here, bro. This is right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what? All right, man. That's the fucking problem. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't fuck that all lives matter. They don't get it. They don't get it. They don't get it. I've got black friends everywhere. You know, <laughs> I hate that one. I, oh, I got plenty of black friends. No. I, got, I got a black friend and he's a cop. My no, roommate in the, college was black. The number, the number one thing <laughs> that they get mad when we say the N word, and I don't think nobody should say it. If you can't say it, I can't say it. Nobody should. Say it. It's just a horrible word. It's a horrible word. You guys it's, made it up. Everybody that works for me is black. <laughs> now can't nobody say it. It's like, oh, so you're a plantation owner? I voted for Obama. You know, I voted for Obama. So you're a plantation owner. <laughs> I hire black people all the time. Seven dollars an hour. So you work on the auction block. <laughs> no benefits. Oh my God. Got it. Stop it. I'm I, done. Voted, I voted for Obama. You know. Cut I voted it for Obama. out. No. <laughs> I did. You know. I love Michelle. You know. Bought her book. My favorite is when they admit that they voted for Trump. Like you know, y'all gave him a chance to first go around, but ah, he let just, me down. You know. <laughs> Let me die. <laughs> I'll never get that. I just don't understand it, you know. He let me down. He let me down. <laughs> I just feel so embarrassed. Like I just. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> My guy ain't right, man. He ain't right. He just ain't right. <laughs> I need to bump it into them white people because the white people that I meet uh, oh. are probably still standing behind this <laughs> you guy. Just so. smoke with him. <laughs> I'm sorry. He you. let me down. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, that is. We got to get Micah a job for doing voiceover shit. <laughs> You'd be on King of the Hill part two. He's not going to be King of the Hill character. <laughs> oh, Boone Howard neighbor and shit. <laughs> Damn. Oh my goodness, man. But yes, that is a woman's section. <laughs> to you by Miss Erica Kimberly. Tell her what they can lead to this talk you had, Shuglet. Well, we got the fake page shut down, so you can back, <laughs> back to stalking your girl at Erica Kimberly underscore. That is the only page. <laughs> wow. Hi, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching our video. Now, if you don't mind, can you do us one more favor? Hit that subscribe button and also tap that bell notification. That way you're alerted about all of our live content, our live episodes, behind the scenes information, also live interviews with some of your favorite guests, and plus many more right here on Blacktop TV. Also, if you need more information about the show, follow us on Instagram, the Blacktop. That's D-A-B-L-A-C-K-T-O-P, and you know me. Ha! I'm a poet, ain't he, though it? I rhyme all the time. And that's about it.